Hello Rock Bags, it's Jay Plays Games with another ARK news update video. Guys, we are desperately waiting for the brand new update with all the tech tier building stuff for PS4 and Xbox One. It looks like it probably won't actually drop today, it looks like it's going to drop on Thursday. If we're lucky if it drops in America tonight in Wednesday evening, but obviously that won't happen for the UK or Europe until Thursday morning. Not only that, but there's other stuff they've just dropped as well. The Xbox version is over 30 gig update, guys. They are actually taking that massive part of the game and re-putting it back in with all the brand new update, plus improvements and bug fixes. It won't be as big for PS4, so there is a small chance that PS4 may arrive early in terms of the update for once. On Xbox, it doesn't make the game 30 gig bigger, it simply means it takes that long time to download 30 gig as it replaces a lot of the game. So your game will still be between 30 and 40 gig size. So you will need to clear 30 GB of size on your Xbox if you haven't got that already. But afterwards you should see that it's still got a fair bit of space. Bad news and really bad news because it's been 5 months now since Primitive Plus had an update. They're not shipping the Primitive Plus update on this update. PS4 is actually a port of the Xbox Foot One version. And because they can't get the Primitive Plus update onto the Xbox in this update, neither can the PS4 actually do Primitive Plus update. So everyone that wanted some of the brand new items and the new skin designs um, or item redesigns, you're going to have to wait probably until the next update. That would be six months since we've had an update for Primitive Plus. Now, six months is taking the piss a bit without actual generally trying to get something done about the actual update progress of a, a mod they've supplied. But again, it's the fact they've only let us know a day before. I guess they tried it, maybe there was an issue and they couldn't get it to work in certification. And they can't help that if it doesn't pass or something goes wrong. But then again, they've had six months to get this update right or to add Primitive Plus onto something. So I'm really sorry for all the Primitive Plus fans out there, we're not going to see anything for another four weeks at least. And Jack's been on Twitter quite a bit just answering some questions about the update. So there's a small chance it will launch today in America in the evening, but I reckon it's going to launch tomorrow guys, Thursday the 16th. And if it does launch tomorrow in the morning, then it probably won't hit UK or Europe to the afternoon. And that's for Xbox and possibly PS4. Like I said, PS4 may launch a little bit earlier. Providing there's no problems as it's still in certification, there's no guarantee that this is actually the date it's going to come out. They both need to pass certification first. So what is actually coming? We've got the Electrophorus, we've got the Microraptor, we've got the Ammonite and we've got the Phylacolio. Not to mention all the tech tier building stuffs and the tech force field. I've shown these off in a video with PCs, go and check that video out now, it's in the description and it will be in the card. Also got 30 brand new explorer notes and lots of bug fixes. Now I don't generally go through lots of these small sort of bug fixes as you know a lot of them can be quite overwhelming how many there are. But a few key things I've pointed out from it is they've reduced the armor rating effectiveness for a lot of creatures like the Golem, the Bronto, the Dodi, the Carbo and the Quetz by 50%. They've increased how much damage the tech weapons do. So now the rifle does 50% more damage and the wreck saddle is nearly 100% more damage than it previously did. And tech armor gives you slightly more protection. They've also fixed the bug where unconscious dinos wouldn't tele teleport out the boss arena. So hopefully that fixes the problem where people keep getting killed every time they fight the boss. And one of the biggest ones for me, as I play single player quite a bit, is that single player non-dedicated bosses are reduced in damage and effective HP by 67%. So that means it's going to be easier if you've got a single player game or non-dedicated game. You should be able to take the bosses out a lot easier and a lot quicker. So there we go guys, bad news about Primitive Plus and the fact that the update again is looking like it's not going to arrive early. It looks like it's going to arrive tomorrow. As ever, I'm Joe Plays Games with all the art news. I'll be there first to let you know the update has dropped. Until it drops, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.